Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a budget potter's wheel that I'm calling the budget with legs. All right, so the next up is an option I'm calling the budget with legs. And so I could call it by the company name that I bought it from. I think it was like YK or something. Um, but really the company name is just the company that bought it from the factory that makes a bunch of these. There's a lot of wheels that look really similar to this one and the, the one we just reviewed over here. Um, and if it looks similar, it most likely is similar. So this one, one of the new features on this brand is that it has this touch LCD panel, which I got to tell you, I'm not a very big fan of. I think it doesn't really add anything in my opinion. Okay, so the price on this one was 208 uh, which is a great price. Uh, I wish they would have had budget wheels like this when I was starting because I would have gotten one like this. Uh, the noise is under 60 dBs. I think I measured it at 58 dBs mostly. The weight on this is pretty light. Oops, see, I turned it on on accident by touching it. It's 20 pounds or 20, 20 pounds. Um, let me just show you that. So you turn it on. This button right here turns it on and off. And here's what these do. This one uh, toggles between hand lever, quote unquote, which this is what determines the speed of the clay with a hand lever, digital hand lever, which in my opinion is not very valuable. Or if you click it and it turns orange, then now it is the foot pedal. And it shows you the revolutions per minute down there. Full speed, I guess, is 320 revolutions per minute. This wheel's got some power. It's it's a good motor wheel. Now, it starts off by default going clockwise, which is actually not the direction that most people throw. So most people are going to have to pr tap that right off the bat to go counterclockwise, which is forward. Um, and so I, I would tap both those right off the bat. And then you have access to your foot pedal. Now this foot pedal, I got to say, it felt kind of cheap to me. I unscrewed this. It's actually just a plastic wheel and kind of like a gear thing that adjusts how fast. It's not very, uh, it's plastic. It's a bunch of plastic. But my son really liked it actually because some of the other wheels like my my uh, pedal on my big wheel and my pedal on this Aspire they're a little bit harder for him to get the the speed right so he'll wind up kind of tapping his foot forward and backward um, this one's not like that this is real easy to do now one thing you might notice here is when I go full speed there's about a half second delay before it kicks into gear see that and likewise when I turn it off it's about a half second delay before it whoosh, shuts, starts shutting down, which is not the biggest deal. It's really not. Um, so one thing I really like about this wheel is the uh, splash pan. The splash pan comes on and off so easy. Clean it up, uh, clip it back into place. I just, I think it's actually my favorite splash pan of any of them. But one thing you have to note: this place where it connects together, you don't want it going vertical because if you do and you push forward, it can kind of touch the shaft. I'm not sure what it's doing there. I, I think it's just this little part right here that clips together. It's, it's only an issue if you have it the wrong way. If you have it like this, front to back, it's not gonna do that at all, even though it can move a little bit. So um, what else can I tell you about this wheel? This wheel, the noise is uh, less than 60 decibels. Uh, I, I think I counted it at 58. It's 20 pounds. It's pretty light. I like that it has this open space down here. Um, when I had it on the grass yesterday with my kids, it was wobbling. And I'm not sure exactly why that was, but it hasn't been wobbling at all for me on a flat piece of ground like this. So um, I don't think that's an issue. The legs, body, plastic. You know, I'm not a big fan of the plastic pedal. Um I like everything else. One of these uh, legs I noticed was welded just a little bit off. It hasn't bothered the, it hasn't bothered me on the wheel at all. But just so you know, it wasn't like they were being super precise on everything. Um, 
there's a slight delay when you press the pedal to the metal. I think we talked about that. It's got a foot pedal, not a hand crank, uh, which is kind of standard. You want Most people want a foot pedal. This has a 9.75 inch wheel head with no bat pin. So bat pins are basically the holes. Usually in the wheel head, they'll drill holes in the bat pin and the, in the wheel head about 10 inches apart or, or shorter. And then you have a bat that fits on on top of those bat pins. A bat pin is basically like a bolt with a wing nut screw on the bottom and you stick the bolt in and then you wing nut it on there and then the bat fits right on that little bolt. It's a circular bolt, so it fits right on there. Um, so you couldn't use these expensive bats on this without doing some rigging of some kind, creating some bat pins, but you don't need to do that. What I usually do is I throw like a little patty, like if this were, um, I would flatten this piece of clay. I'd use about half this amount and just flatten it out till about here, maybe a quarter inch deep, and then I throw some rings in it. I'll, you can check out the other video on bats uh, for exactly how we do this. But basically, I always use these. These are uh, ceramic tiles, white ceramic six inch tiles, real easy to clean off, real straight. I have a hundred over a hundred of them. I love them. 45 cents each or 44 cents each at Lowe's. This is a piece of plywood, quarter inch plywood that I chopped up into a hundred pieces or so, a four by eight piece of plywood. And then I sanded the edges. You don't need to do this. This was version one before I found these, but a lot of people throw on square wooden bats and they'll just stick it on that patty and then they'll, they'll throw. And then when they're done, they'll just pry it off with a, uh, uh, uh a rib or something, and I set it on my boards. So that's it. Uh, no, no bat pins on this guy. The splash pan is great. And a cool thing about this one is you can take this off and use the Giffen grip with it. This is the only budget uh, one that I have that you can use the Giffen grip on. So I'm not going to set it on this wet clay, but you can adjust these um these should fit snugly on your wheel head, and this fits on this nine and a, nine and three quarters inch wheel head. And then you can uh, trim pots a lot faster. Giffen grips are great for trimming pots fast. So I love that about this wheel. I'd say that's one of the major pros of this wheel. Um, I guess the major con would be I'm not the biggest fan of the digital. Uh, interface but once you press this button once and press this button once you're off to the races you don't need to think about pressing it anymore so it's not the biggest deal but it's a good little wheel i like it let me see if i it's got plenty of power it has more than enough power for you they say you can center up to 20 pounds of clay on this which is more than you're going to need uh probably in the first couple years of like I've been throwing consistently for two and a half years and uh, like as a discipline almost daily. And I don't think you ever need to uh, throw 20 pounds of clay. I throw off the hump and I, I usually center about between eight and 15 pounds of clay. I love making these little communion cups. Hey, thanks for watching this video series on potter's wheels. I made this graphic comparing 14 aspects of the five different wheels I own. You can download it for free in the links below. You can also purchase wheels and other gear that we recommend at the links below. Now these are affiliate links, so if you buy, our channel will get a small commission off, the per off your purchase at no cost to you. Now if you have questions or thoughts about these wheels, please leave them for me in the comments below. I'd love to help you out on your clay journey. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.